So hello and welcome to a tutorial here for MotoGP 25 and today we're going to be covering how to enable and install mods for the game. So if you've done it previously things are pretty different now. The actual installation of the mods is pretty much the exact same but the enabling of the mods is now pretty different. Obviously in previous games we just had to add a parameter on Steam and that allowed the mods to load but unfortunately that is not the case anymore. Now the EXE has to be patched, which I know sounds a bit scary, but I've made a tool that allows you just to do that in a couple of clicks. So that's what we're going to be covering for most of this video today. So first thing you are going to want to do, you're going to go to the link in the description and it'll take you to this page here. And this is basically a download for a tool that I have created to allow this patching and launching of the game either with or without mods. So what you're going to want to do, you want to click this here and download this. So you want to download this Motor GP 2025 mod launcher zip. And I think you're also going to probably want to download this test mod files zip as well, because this has basically just got a test mod in there that you'll immediately be able to see if it's worked. Because at the time of recording, there aren't actually any mods for the game that you can actually go download on Overtake or anything like that. And you can see there we've got both things downloaded. So once you've got those downloaded, you're probably going to want to put them on your desktop or somewhere that's easy to sort of get to, because especially for the, the launcher, you're going to want to keep this somewhere. So maybe documents folder or wherever you feel like putting it. And you, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to extract this. So do not try and run whatever's in there from the zip itself. You're going to want to extract it. So right click, extract all. You can see me here, it's trying to put it onto our desktop. So we'll extract that. And there you go. We've now got a new folder on our desktop. So we can discard the actual zip file itself now. We're really more interested about this. We'll come back to this other zip file later, because like I said, this is only for testing the mods. So you're going to want to open this uh, this folder that you've extracted. And you'll see in here there are three files. So there's a Merge GP25 mod launcher exe, and that's the one that you're going to be focused on. So just double click that. So you will actually see here, you might get a prompt saying Windows has protected your PC. Now, the reason this pops up is because this is like an app that's not really been ran on anyone's computer, but it'll detect the files we downloaded off the internet, not really ever run on anyone's computers before. So this will pop up. So just click run, run anyway. So after clicking that, you may get this notification pop up. If you don't, great, you can skip this next part, but I'm guessing a lot of you will. And effectively, what this is, is a program I've written. It requires what is called .NET, which is a Microsoft framework to actually run. So what you're going to need to do, click this link here, download it now, and that should just take you straight here. Download this. And what you're going to then want to do is run this. Let's go pop up this installer. Just click install. There may, may be, I don't know if you can actually see this on my screen, but there might be a prompt asking you to allow it to make changes. Then it'll just go through the actual installation and there you go, installation successful. That's that done. So literally you had to double click that and just press one button and that was it. So that's now installed. So you can close off the, uh, the browser once again. And now if you had that error, if you double click the mod launcher, you'll see that it isn't erroring anymore and you now get a welcome message. So welcome to Vikas Mod Launcher. As this is your first time opening the app, you need to provide the location of your game files to start hit OK. So obviously for this, what this does is it patches your game files. To do that, it needs to know where your game files are. Now, if you've got the game installed on Steam in the normal directory like I have here, it will probably just default straight here and you'll see Steam apps common. You'll see the MHP25 folder it's selected. So you can just hit select folder. Now you might have it in a different location. If you don't know where that is, you can go to your Steam library. Here we go to properties, installed files and browse, and that'll take you to the the actual directory and you could just click this top bar here right click copy and you can go back over to the actual mod launcher and uh, paste it in and there you go it'll take you to that directory and then you just select your Merge GP25 directory obviously for me it already selected it so I didn't really have to worry about that but if you've not got it in the, the default location you will have to navigate to it manually now if you've got it on Epic Games Launcher this is how you find those files as well obviously I haven't got the Merge GP game on here but I'll just show you with the F1 game so you press these three little dots you go to manage and then you see this installation and open install location and you see it's exactly the same. So it's taking me to F1 manager. So your game could likely be in program files, Epic Games, Merge GP25, if you've got it on the Epic Games store. But there you go. That's the two different ways. I'm not sure. Obviously, at this time, there's no Game Pass version. I doubt this will work for Game Pass at all, which is unfortunate for you guys. But that's not something I could test at the moment because the game just isn't on there. So maybe that's something we'll address down the line. But anyway, once you found the correct folder, just press select folder. And you'll see that the that it pops up this window here. So it says your Merge GP25 game directory has been successfully set. If you do put in something that's invalid, you will get an error and it'll ask you, it'll prompt you to try again. Now, if you have set it to your Merge GP25 directory and you're still getting that error, do let me know. It shouldn't happen, but it is potentially possible. But you can see here that it also says if you ever need to change this in the future, you can do it by the change directory option. So we press OK here. We now get another window popping up saying patching successful. So the game has now been patched, automatically done when you launch the program for the first time. You can now play with the mods via the launch game with the mods option. You'll need to repeat this step for whenever the game is updated. 
and this can be done by the repack exe option so that's really really important to know guys you will have to repatch the game every time there is a game update i know it's a little bit annoying but it is pretty simple i'll show you and we press ok and we actually get the mod launcher popping up and uh, you can see the actual interface here so shout out to dill by the way uh, dill469 for designing the actual background with uh, with rossi and the mod launcher text but you can see we have got a few options so so let's say milestone release an update tomorrow after you've done this all you need to do is load up the mod launcher once again and you just click this repatch exe option and you can see the same window pops up now if you get any error here do let me know and let me know what you're trying to do as well but again you only need to do this if the game has been updated so if you if the game hasn't been updated and you've been playing with mods you probably will get an error when you try and do this but there you go that's that's the thing you've got to do every time there is a game update so the three options you're probably going to be most interested in are the create shortcut uh, desktop shortcuts launch game with mods launch game without mods these do as they say on the tin launch game with mods you click it the game launches and mods are enabled now what's important to note is you cannot play online when you have mods this year that is not allowed you will get kicked you won't get banned but you will get kicked from any lobbies you try to join that's why i've kind of made sure there's options to launch the game without mods so if you want to play online now if you click this create desktop shortcuts button you'll see two shortcuts have now appeared on my desktop and you can see merge 25 without mods and merge 25 with mods and they do the exact same thing as these two buttons here. So you don't need the launcher unless you're basically repatching your XE now. So you can close off the launcher and that's it for now. That, that, is, that is it, we don't need to do it again. Now, you do wanna still keep hold of this, don't delete it because these shortcuts link to the, the mod launcher itself. Uh, so make sure that you actually keep it on there. So this is where we go back now to the test mod that we downloaded before. So you wanna open that up and what you're going to want to do is a lot of you will find this next part very, very familiar. So you might be able to skip over it, but you're going to go to your MotoGP25 game directory. You're then going to go to MotoGP25, content, packs, and you can see all these files in this folder. You can see the, the actual endings are very similar to the ones here. And you're just going to drag these three files as so the now mods come in three files rather than just one like they did previously. Copy it over and you can see it is now installed. So we can close off those two windows. And now the last thing to do is literally to click this icon here, Merch GP25 with mods. And within a few seconds, the game should launch up with mods. You can see the splash screen. You'll notice it is faster because the anti-cheat has to be sort of turned off for this to actually work. You can see now we are launching into the game and you'll notice the test mod very, very quickly when we get into it. I've actually changed the, the logo on the start screen so that you'll be immediately able to tell if the mod has worked, which is why I recommend you download and use this test mod because you'll immediately be able to tell as soon as the game launches whether the mod patch has worked correctly. And there you go. You can see on this main menu, we have got Merge 25 modded. So from here, obviously you cannot play online, single player stuff only. So I suppose the next question is going to be, let's try it without mods. Let's see. Let's say you've played a bit of your career mode with your mods or whatever, or you've, you've tested out a specific livery or you've put your favorite helmet on or whatever, but then your friend says, hey, let's jump into an online lobby. Let's, let's have a little bit of fun. And you're like, okay, my game's currently modded. So what you need to do then, Close the game, of course. And it is as simple as just clicking Merge 25 without mods. And you'll see basically the same thing. It will pop up within a few seconds of double clicking that. There you go. Once again, we've got the splash screen popping up and we are jumping into the game once again. And I'll let it load all the way to the start screen. You'll see immediately that the logo is no longer being displayed. It's modified. So our mod files are no longer being loaded. And there you go. The, the mods are no longer being loaded. So that's pretty much it. It is pretty simple. That's why I've developed the tool. And like I said, if there is ever an update from Milestone, all you've got to do is click this repatch EXE button and that should redo it. Again, if you hit any errors with that, do let me know. My recommendation is if you do hit any errors is to verify your integrity of your game files within Steam or within Epic Games. So you go back to the, the default ones and then just try again. But of course, if you do run into any issues, do let me know because this is meant to be a very simple process. So, so if something has happened, then, then uh, something has gone wrong. And like I said, of course, I recommend using the test mod to check. Obviously, further down the line, there's probably going to be other mods anyway that you could just test with. But for me, I think that's a good idea to have a test mod so you can actually use that. But I hope you do enjoy the rest of your day and happy modding. Install as many mods as you can. Enjoy it. I'm hoping the barrier to entry hasn't been changed too much by having to do all these steps.